gonna have to Hi, I'm Cookie, and I just can't get this nude Steve Buscemi sculpture right. Oh, I'm so glad you four are here. Finishing my nap was the last thing I wanted to do. There's your hardware. If you think another player is clueless, screw them and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by... The Devil. Sure, God and Heaven sound great and everything, but have you fully considered Hell? Or are you just going by what you heard? Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Get ready, time for question. One. To begin with, I could stare at Steve Buscemi's face all day. Which potential Boardwalk Empire spin-off does not also include the name of a Monopoly property? Park Place Empire? Why Player 4? Who do you care to screw? You yanked out your screw, you got us all excited, and then you just sat there. Lame. Um, let's try to forget that ever happened. Players 1, 2, and 3. There is a St. James and a St. Charles place in Monopoly, but no St. John's place. One thing I enjoy about Boardwalk Empire is all the gratuitous flashing of community chests. And on its way, NSA OK. Ah, crap. The NSA is collecting information off my computer again. I hope they don't snag my Visa card info, because that's the card I use to buy all my embarrassing stuff. Okay, okay. Which of these is my Visa card? 3000, blah, 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 8450, 4000, blah, 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 9010, 5000, blah, 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 0666, or 6000, blah, 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 0... Players 1, 2, and 3? That's my American Express card. I forgot I had an American Express card. <laughs> Want to see the right answer? All Visa account numbers begin with the number 4. Similarly, all MasterCards begin with the number 5, and Discover cards start with, uh... I don't know. Hey, anybody know what, what number Discover cards start with? Anybody? Hmm, guess not. Player 4? That 666 should have been a tip-off if this answer was the wrong choice. But someone out there really likes it when you make wrong choices, and that's why you've won this gift basket from hell, personally prepared for you by our sponsor, The Devil. Go ahead and keep up your habit of consistently doing the wrong thing. This wrong answer of the game got you $4,000. Nice job. Here's one I like to call... How long has that been in your mouth? And it's a dis or dat. Player one. Looks like you've got some catching up to do. This dis or dat is all yours. I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's a... popular brand of gum, or... an adult cable network. If it's gum, press the square button. If it's an adult channel, Press the circle button. Now, the rest of you need to hear this. Try to pick an answer before player one. If player one gets it wrong, I'll split that cash among everyone else who got it right. We good? Here we go. Hubba Bubba. Brazzers. Spice. Quench. Fresh. Juicy. Big Red! Good work, you're only mostly a pervert! I don't watch much adult entertainment, but I love gum, and I know that in general it's not a good idea to swallow. Sorry, that joke left a bad taste in my mouth.
Next up, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Often misidentified by Sylvester the Cat. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Player two, who's gonna get that screw? Player four, you are so screwed, you got five seconds. Numerous Sylvester cartoons feature a young kangaroo character named Hippity Hopper, who Sylvester believes to be a giant mouse. So many unanswered questions in Sylvester's life. Is that a giant mouse or a kangaroo? Is Tweety a boy or a girl? Why do I sound pretty much exactly like Daffy Duck? Player two, this screw does not have a happy ending. How about his jokes fell in deaf ears? What might it sound like if Jimmy Fallon's nightly monologue suddenly turned into a soliloquy? Here's a question. Player one, who are you gonna screw? I owe my player four, you're getting screwed. You've got five seconds to make a choice. Oh man, time's up. Way to screw player one. Why not pick up a few more bucks? Players one, two, and three. A soliloquy is when an actor expresses his thoughts and feelings towards himself as though no one else is present. But Jimmy Fallon could never really pull off a soliloquy because he knows Jay Leno is just steps away hiding in the curtain. That brings a close to round one, and player one is ahead, and leaving no doubt about it either. Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. And don't be afraid to use those screws. You didn't come here to make friends. Why not try? I really want to be able to judge a book by its cover. Considering what happens to Harry Morgan, what would be the more descriptive title for Ernest Hemingway's To Have and Have Not? To Have... Player 3, who gets your screw? You just got screwed, Player 4. Five seconds to pick an answer. Can't do anything right, can you? Superb screwing, Player 3. Don't stop there, get some more cash. Players one, two, and three. Harry Morgan loses an arm in To Have and Have Not. Which is why this should have been the book Hemingway titled A Farewell to Arms. You know, just a real missed opportunity. Question seven. Get up and change your bag. This one's called Silence is Molden. Not that I've missed him, but I haven't seen my ventriloquist dummy Billy O'Brien around very much lately. Seems like he's been busy with something. Usually when I mention him or not, he just shows up. Hmm, maybe if I play his song. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me! Did somebody call? Billy, what's new? I see you've got some kind of paper with you there. It's not just Denny Tater, it's my diploma from Dunny College. Oh, I didn't know you were going to college. Not anymore, I graduated this morning. With honors? <laughs> no. If not Dunny College awarded me highest honors, what would be written on my diploma? Suna cum laude? Magna cum laude? Maxina cum laude? Or just... Player four? Maxin, no! <laughs> Players one, two, and three? Yep, summa cum laude is the highest academic honor a student can receive upon graduation. Well, sorry you didn't do better in dummy college, Billy, but I'm still proud you graduated. By the way, what's the uh, name of this dummy college you went to anyway? The University of Florida. Follow me down to the sea. Oh, Open wide for adorable. Which Dora the Explorer character would Dr. Doolittle not have the power to talk to? Dora, Boots, Swiper, or Map? Player four? Um, just because his main power is talking to animals doesn't mean he can't also talk to humans, right? 
Right. <laughs> Players one, two, and three. Dr. Doolittle can talk to the animals like Boots the monkey and Swiper the fox, and obviously to people too, but he did not have the power to talk to magical maps. <laughs> You know, why is talking to animals so impressive? I think the real magical power is listening. <laughs> Try this on for size. You're beta testing my patience. Which video game would testers probably find a giant bug in? Sart the game, Tolstoy the game, Camus the game, or Kafka the game? <laughs> Players two and three? <laughs> Player one. Interesting choice. Player four? Franz Kafka wrote The Metamorphosis, the story of how Gregor Samsa transformed into a giant bug. That's one bug the developers should probably not remove. Otherwise, it'll just be a game about a guy who wakes up as a human and, uh, goes to work or something. And I played enough of The Sims. May I introduce Gambling Edition? What super cool thing should I say while betting on a seven in roulette? Always bet on black, always bet on red, always bet on black in America, but bet on red in Europe, or always bet on green. <laughs> Player four? The number seven in roulette is always red. And the super cool thing I always say whenever I make any kind of roulette bet is, Please, 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 I can't lose this! Why did I make this bet? I can't afford to lose this money! <laughs> Somebody help me! Player two? <laughs> Players one and three? No, green is for zeros. Like you. <laughs> Brace yourself for the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 2,000 bucks if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Make my hair look like a pig's ass. Who's rocking the pigtails? Good luck. Takes it! Gee, player one, you just barely won that game. Were you nervous? I wasn't. Know why? Because. You don't know Jack! My 
My name is Jaden Funk, and I want to teach you slam poetry. But talk is cheap, right? Cheap like a toy made in China by kids in sweatshops working 9 to 5 like Dolly Parton. The interruption. But North Korea just dropped a nuclear bomb on us. Just like I dropped a bomb. Mom and Dad, I'm not running the family business. Mom and Dad, I want to be a slam poet artist. To be happy like a megastore smiley face, you have to wear a matching vest just like everybody else. Ding dong, ding dong. Welcome to heaven. The most powerful words to any true-blooded American. So talk isn't cheap, but my class is. $50 for the eight-week session at the Rosewood Adult Learning Center. Hope to see you there. Hi, I'm John Taylor, and starting today, get a free suit at John Taylor's Suit Emporium. Wow, how do I get a free suit? Just buy two suits and get a free suit upon purchase of your third suit. So I buy three suits and I get one free? Yes, purchase that third suit, and one of your previously purchased suits becomes free. So I buy two suits, purchase one more suit, and then my first suit is free? No, the third suit is free, and the first two suits are full price, but by one one more suit and it's free but i'm paying for three suits and come in between two and four and get 50 percent off a fourth suit once you purchase your fifth and seventh suits two of which are free so i buy seven suits no you pay for the first second fifth and seventh suits and the fourth is half off only after the sixth suit which can't be the same as the first or third and must be of equal or lesser value to your ninth suit so i come in at 245 buy two suits and get a third free after taking half off a fourth, once I've selected a fifth and sixth, which can't match my first and third, none of which can be more than my ninth suit? Exactly. That's why we call it the purchase two plus a fourth half off, fifth, seventh, select a sixth, that's a third less than the ninth free suit extravaganza. Start saving today!